Welcome to Strip Cover Lid. I'm Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And we are here with you for this week's Writer's Quote of the Week. Our Writer's Quote this week comes from Ezra Pound. Um, <laughs> this is going to be our first real quote on poetry. I, we haven't had a quote on poetry. We've talked a lot about poetry lately because yeah. I think we've been reading a lot of poetry yeah. for some reason. Right. So we have that, Adrian. Let um, us know. Ezra Pound, author of The Cantos. Don't make each line stop dead at the end and begin every next line with a heave. Let the beginning of the next line catch the rise and rhythm of the wave, unless you want a definitive longish pause. I think this is uh, indicative not only of the way that Pound wrote, but the more contemporary poetry seems mm -hmm. to have uh, caught on to this and really taken it. And that is interesting to say more contemporary poetry, because I think when you say poetry to the anyone, right, they think of very stoic beats. Da 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 da, and it, it's again appreciate it i'm glad you did this but it's bad it's hard to read yeah um and poetry has taken a huge turn where you could give someone a larger poem who is not well read and they wouldn't realize it was a poem right um and maybe that is the just rhythmic flow of things uh, it's flowing more and i like it i love that style if you read bukowski i mean there's no real no real pauses in them no right no even even the yeah. And that's interesting because it it forces the reader to put in pauses where they seem appropriate to them. Well, there are also, when you look at the way enjambment happens and mm -hmm. you look at the just, just the regular ends to lines, mm -hmm. uh, not only are you seeing where the pauses happen, mm -hmm. you're seeing why that emphasis is put on the last and first word of the line. But it does feel more rhythmic. It does feel more flowing. It's not as rigid as poetry once was. Right, um, which is ironic when you're talking about something like iambic pentameter making poetry less rhythmic, right? Yes, and, and that is very interesting. It's well, maybe rhythmic is not the right word. Maybe, but it is more rigid. Uh, right. it, this is the dynamic this poem has to follow. It seems like people have just shattered the rules of poetry and just gone with it. And it's created a beautiful thing. Um, I will have to admit, I have not read much, if any, Ezra Pound. Um, no one really has. No one has. Um, no one really I, and has. Uh, if anyone knows who Ezra Pound actually is, thank you. Um, but an important literary figure. The chutzpah of this guy uh, wrote, wrote the Cantos, which no one really enjoys. Uh, no one really knows what it's about. Uh, but it is, an, if I'm not mistaken, an epic poem. Like, just, just poetry for forever. Mm -hmm. And the very first word, guess what the very first word of the Cantos is? What is that? Just guess. I have no idea. That's not it. The? No. Cantos? No. Just keep Ezra. Going. Just, just throw just throw words at me that you I would begin a story with. A bicycle, elephant, ran, shot put, thirsty, cigar, please, don't mind if I do. Carry on. And. And. And is the first word of the That book. is comfortable. Uh, uncomfortable, actually. Right. Um, and from someone, and that breaks all rigid grammar right there. Absolutely. That's just, I feel... <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt now. I'm hurt. Get that. Mm. Thank you. That's what I do. Mm. I actually have noticed that. I do that quite a bit. I'm like, mm. Adrian's saying something. <laughs> Let me look like I'm listening. Drink it in. Did I leave the stove on? Uh, that is delightfully entering. interesting. Because I look back to grade school, look back to high school. You do not start a sentence with and. No, you do and not. that's just a sentence. You do not start. That's the sentence? No, no, oh, no. I'm like, in the sentence is and period. No, I'm like, Mom, <laughs> you <laughs> monster. <laughs> but that's just a sentence. Mm -hmm. we're, we're talking about a book. Yes. Starting with hand. That's chutzpah. 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 Sorry. So what do you think about definitive longish pauses? For poetry? Yeah. 
A pause is, I'm, I'm gonna go theater here. An improper pause ruins it. If you pause where there's not supposed to be a pause, it's awkward and it feels like you don't know what you're talking about. See that little pause there? But an important pause, that's where it's at. Okay. Okay. So, a definitive long pause, yes, where appropriate. And if you have mastery over poetry, as I assume Ezra Pound and his and sentences do, well, then yeah, the pause is appropriate. But if used incorrectly, could very well jeopardize the piece. Yeah, and I think that's part of what he's getting at with the... Uh with the, the the ends of lines and the beginnings of the next not having to be heaves, mm -hmm. uh, but catching the rise of the rhythm wave. And that seems very, very much iambic pentameter, that he, the constant flow, right, right. just, it, it, it feels up and down, constant. You're going up and down the hill where he's saying, just, just enjoy the ride. Just also, flow. rise of the rhythm wave. That's, that should definitely be the title of someone's collection of poetry, or an Alt-J album. <laughs> Either or. Um, but again, very much uh, pushing towards somebody who is well-versed in poetry. Yeah. And unfortunate that not many people have read, read him. Right. Uh, one more time, if you could. What, what is the full quote? Don't make each line stop dead at the end, and then begin every next line with a heave. Let the beginning of the next line catch the rise of the rhythm wave, unless you do want a definitive longish pause. I like it. I think it's a good writer's quote. I think it's good advice. And I think it is opening us up to a little more poetry, yeah. which I think is wonderful. Yeah, we're, we're getting there sometime. We're getting there eventually. So <laughs> let us know what you thought about the quote of the week. And let us know if you've actually heard of Ezra Pound. It'd be very refreshing to hear somebody talk about Ezra. He was born in 1885, so it's not that long ago. I, pretty much the same era I'm assuming you were born in. Yeah, so. the, well, this, I've got the, the tech knowledge from, <laughs> from 1885, but also lived a really crazy life. Yeah. Uh, ended up being a mouthpiece for Mussolini. Mm-hmm. Um, which would be terrifying to say yeah, the least. So, uh, so on a very important note though, joining us or join us tomorrow uh, as we finish out the week with our writer's workshop, Flowers for All Drawn. And next week, go ahead and pick it up now because it's a quick read, the Infinity Gauntlet series from Marvel. Uh, let's move into comic books a little bit since we're opening ourselves up to poetry. Let's open ourselves up to comic books. Absolutely, and the week after that, we will be doing Drown by Juno Diaz, which Mia Culpa, I mentioned earlier that it, I thought it was a novel. It is actually a collection of short stories. Um, very good though, so join us then. Uh -huh. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching another episode of Strip Cover Lit. Uh, it is part of our goal to bring you literature. Be that from the writer, writer's perspective, the, the reader's perspective, uh, be it from film, books, poetry, no matter what. That's part of our goal here. The best of literature and writing almost every day of the week. Right. Um, so if you, if you noticed something here that brought value to your writer's life, We'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. Uh, that really is what pushes us. I mean, we wake up every day, we're like, hey, how many people are actually following? How many people are watching? What can we do here? So make sure you're hitting the subscribe button. Uh, joining us, join us every week, actually. Uh, Monday, we'll start your week off with a six list, get you back into your literary week. Tuesday, we'll hit you with our reader's review. Uh, book review, pretty simple, easy, straightforward. Uh, we'll go back into another six list on Wednesday. Thursday, we do a little bit of something fun. We'll do challenges. We'll do tags. Maybe. Book calls. Maybe a makeup challenge. A makeup challenge. A we'll see what's coming. Uh, Friday, we'll hit you with a writer's quote of the week, get you through the weekend, make you think. Uh, Saturday, we'll hit a writer's workshop of the same book that we covered in the reader's review. And Sunday, we'll try to get our normal lives back in order to come all by, right back on Monday. So make sure not only that you hit the subscribe button, but that you follow us on Twitter at Strip Cover Lit. At Strip Cover. At Strip Cover on Twitter. Because on Facebook, we're at Strip Cover Lit. And on Instagram, we are... On Instagram, we are Strip Cover Lit. I don't have the internet. I know you don't. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys, and we'll see you next time.